to Sim Racing on the Game & Muscle YouTube channel. Sector 3 have just released a new circuit in the form of Mantrop Park in uh, Sweden, a Swedish racetrack. And I thought we could jump into virtual reality and check it out whilst also talking about uh, where we are with uh, some of the other aspects to race room racing experience. Now, the first thing that you should notice from this video that's different and rather quite pleasant is that we are capturing the game from a uh, 2D 16 by 9 screen view. So for you guys, things should look nice rather than uh, using the Steam VR mirror. You'll also notice that we're playing with the Oculus Rift. I've just happened to have been uh, doing a bit of uh, gaming with the Rift recently, so that's what we've got plugged in. But everything seems to be working fantastic. You guys get a nice view due to the having the, uh, a good quality mirror to record from. And, uh, well, we all get to take a look at Mantrop Park in Sweden for the first time. And it's definitely got that go-kart track vibe about it. This is, uh, this is probably out in the sticks. Um, you know, kind of a Donington Park. It, it looks even smaller than Donington, to be honest. We don't have much going on in the pit lane. Sector 3, though, fantastic details. You know, we've got nice fences. We've got some nice dustbins over there. Sector 3 artists. Very good at modelling dustbins, I must say. It must be a Swedish bin. They've done their research. <laughs> Swedish wheelie bin. We've got some uh, containers. We'll get driving, don't worry, guys. I just like to take in all the details. I'll, I'll go through the pits the other way to have a look at some of the other details in the pits. Got a nice start, finish flag waving booth there. Let's start our Formula car up. Wait, let's start it in neutral. Let's start her. There we go. Engine ready. Double check that the sound's going on the recording. Indeed it is. And, uh, well, you might have noticed that we are sat inside a Formula vehicle. And to be honest, you know, if you're rich enough to own a Formula vehicle, you might as well check out a track for the first time in it. Uh, probably a good way to kill yourself. But, you know, if you're going to die, you might as well die in a Formula car. Let's get the... Uh, the world scale seems a little bit chunky at the moment. Let's put it about... Hmm, that seems about right. 9.0, 8.9, give or take. There we go. We've gone for 9.5. I think that's about 9.5 seems about right with most cars. So let's join on the track. Let's have a little look. Oh, a bit of a wheel spin. Off we go. Now, it's worth saying I'm using the, uh, the, the work in progress build of the game. And as a result, the AI paths and there's, there's some other bugs that um, I've been told about by Sector 3. So if you see any Formula cars in this video, moonwalking on the track, dancing or doing upside down flips or anything, it's because it's the beta version of the uh, of the game and the circuit. Look at this, this is a nice and open. It looks a bit like an airstrip here. Maybe this was a, um, a World War II Oh no, <laughs> you don't get many runways that suddenly dip down like that. A lot of these uh, small circuits and rural circuits have actually converted World War II uh, airfields. But uh, this, I don't think this is actually. What I am getting a, a really big vibe of though, uh, this feels very much like um, Croft. Croft circuit in Yorkshire. I mean, that, that last corner, I think that's the last, yeah, last, that's the last corner. And then we've got this straight and the wall and the actual size of the circuit. And then you've got this corner here. A croft would go down into the right more. It doesn't curve to the left as much. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe, uh, maybe this circuit was inspired by croft or croft inspired by this circuit, but it definitely has a similar lay well, feel to it, similar-ish layout and a similar sort of scale to it. Though uh, Croft has a longer version of its circuit. This is like the cut-off version of Croft. <laughs> but it's some nice, there's some spectators chilling out underneath an umbrella. And what I really like with Sector 3 is just the amount of detail that they put into the circuits, the side details. Again, this corner's a lot like Croft, where you turn around, you've got a view into the countryside. Into Yorkshire Dales. <laughs> this is for, this is, uh, Maybe people that live in this town were all, all Yorkshiremen and they were like, oh, we need a race circuit to remind us of home. 
But yeah, Sector 3 put all these nice details everywhere, nice little fans, cranes, and stuff that just makes the track feel really lively. Let's try and drive a little bit faster though. I've noticed as well on the road surface, there's some nice little bits of um, warning. I've oh, cut the track. There's some nice little bits of subtle camber to the circuit, which uh, should aid with getting cars to actually stick to some of the corners. And make them a little bit more nuanced. Sometimes you get those, I don't think this is an airstrip track, I'm just trying not to kill myself and the AI but succeeded in killing myself and the AI um, this does feel like a bit of airstrip this bit of air. oh maybe it's a drag oh, it must be like a drag circuit yes I think it is a drag circuit that's why it's a long flat straight I've got like a little drag launch part here Hen Henson Racing this would be where they do the drag racing the Swedes love a bit of drag racing. I don't know what racing uh, the racing scene is like in Sweden, to be honest. This is awesome in virtual reality, though. Just been able to do a bit of sightseeing. And uh, it does seem to be running really well. It's one thing I found with Race Room. It runs really well in VR. Both um, the Vive and the Oculus Rift. You can actually have the graphics look, looking really nice and punching, quite clear because you can run a lot of super sampling. And uh, you still get a good frame rate from it. I'm, I mean, I'm recording right now as well, and I'm not noticing any stutter or anything. So, that's normally a good sign. And you guys get a nice crisp view now without being able to, as I say, use the uh, Steam mirror. So, all in all, pretty good. Okay. Try and get a bit more speed around this track. There are some uh, little tricky corners on here as well. I think this would be quite a fun track to take uh, some of the front wheel drive cars around, like the uh, the WTCC cars. Oh my god. <laughs> You've got this nice straight to uh, get some overtakes on. I think this could be quite a good circuit actually, especially for. Quick races. Oh dear. Not enough camber to keep myself stuck to the track there. Not enough downforce. Whoa! <laughs> Too much throttle. Off! Into the countryside we go. Whoa! Jesus! Too intense virtual reality. You genuinely feel like you're going to die at times. Marshals are probably going to want to have a word with us uh, after this uh, for how we rejoin the circuit. Gen genu generally, it's better to check. Again, this last corner, very much croft-like, and the entry to the pit lane is right back there. Let's go the wrong way around the circuit. Go into the pits. Don't know if we've got flags on. We'll find out. Oh. Psych out, who's played chicken with the uh, AI there. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa. Watch out, game of muscles on the track. So there's the pit entry. Excuse me, making a right handed turn here. Welcome to Euro F1 simulator. <laughs> He's like, sarcastic clap. He's the only one. We've got one guy doing a military salute on the right, and then we've got one guy... I oh know so there's another guy doing a sarcastic clap over there on the left. That's basically because I drove the wrong way around the circuit. Well done. Well done, Game of Muscle. Well done. With some guy with some Arab on his T-shirt. Al-Shabaab have joined us in Sweden to watch this uh, drive-in. Oh. What a bizarre pit entrance and clearly a lot of drivers succumb to driving into the walls here because there's a big crane to uh, pick your vehicle up once you've walled it coming into the pits really really dodgy pit lane actually quite nice of VR because you, you you know you get a really good impression of how close the walls are in VR we got a nice shed shed pit lane here this is for the teams that don't have the too much budget 
you get a uh, garden shed over the top of you. I think that's it. I think those are those are the pit boxes. They've um, put some nice uh, tents out there for spectators to grab a uh, cup of tea or whatever whatever they drink. And we've got the, the the public toilets, unisex public toilet right there on the side of the building. So yes, this is clearly a uh, a very large, a very large and very very popular racetrack. <laughs> Marshall's just chilling out and you know the Marshall's because it says so on the top if it didn't say that you know they could they could be anybody but I think that's a that's a first look right, let's park next to these scooters and this just skip looks a nice scooter should be able to drive that around the circuit that's for when you have walled your car you need to go back to the pit lane uh, but yeah that's a first look at Mantrop Park in race room racing experience of course uh, a very serious look uh, you know, I think it'll be an interesting track. I think more so with um, this kind of circuit like like Croft for stuff like Clio Carp or front wheel drive vehicles, I think could be really fun around here because you've got those tight corners that you will get the back end of the front wheel drive, drive car out and then you'll just get on the power and then everyone will be flying around them and trying to miss the tires and things. And as I say, my first impression, big first impression is that it's, it's, it's a Swedish version of Croft. Someone literally got tracing paper Went over the Croft circuit and then stuck it in Sweden. I don't know why we've got a disembodied floating stop sign there, but that's bizarre. But there you go. Uh, I hope that's interesting for you guys. Um, we're going to be doing some more racing in Race and Race Experience. We're going to have another video up very soon where we'll talk about some of the other features that they've added, going over some of the things like the flags and other aspects of the VR support. But until then, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, like us and ask any questions in the comment section. Goodbye, everybody.